Gina, Gina, are you there? I just have to know if this is true. I heard that your ex-husband is the company president of Grape Co. Like, the one that's on all the magazine covers and stuff? H his name is George, isn't it? Excuse me? Why in the world are you talking to me about this, Trish? Well, it's just Ben was letting me look through some old family photos that you had in the house. There was an old photo with you standing next to a man, and I finally recognized who he is. It was so weird because the pictures were old, but I felt like I had seen that man from somewhere. And now I finally realize that he's George Grape, the head of Grape Co. Wow, well I have to say I'm impressed you could tell from such an old photo. Is that all you have to say about it? That's a little underwhelming, to be honest. Well, I'm afraid there's really not much to get all that excited about. I mean, he wasn't a company president or CEO or whatever when we were going out. I didn't hear that he'd started his own company until after he and I had broken up, but I guess now he's some kind of hot shot in the industry. But why didn't you ever try to fix things with him after you heard about who he was? Think about the life you could have had if you did. You could be posting on Insta every day from a new car or showing off your huge house. Just think about it. You should text him right now and ask him out. I'm sorry, Trish, but I really have no interest at all in getting back together with George. In fact, I don't even know if marrying him would mean getting more money. I remember when we were married, he would always blow through our monthly budgets like it was nothing. He even stole Ben's allowance at times. And in the end, he finally cheated on me and ran off to be with another woman. And so I hope you understand why I have no intention of getting back together with him. Whoa, what? You mean you just forgave him for all that he did and just let him go like that? And now he's a huge deal all over the world? I mean, who cares about what happened in the past if you can milk George for all that he's worth now? You deserve to have nice things, too. Just think of the cars, the mansions, the condos, the vacations. All of it could be yours. Maybe it could, maybe it couldn't, but it really doesn't bother me either way. After all, I don't even want those things. I enjoy my apartment and I enjoy my simple life. It's enough for me. Oh, come on, Gina. You have to be more ambitious than that. What's the point of being satisfied with what you have? You're almost 30 years old and you're still working a dead-end job living in your small apartment. Don't you want more out of life? Aren't you sick of living the way that you are? Just think of where you could be living if you only swallowed your pride and asked George to take you back. It's the least you deserve. You really think that there's something wrong with the way that I live? I just finished telling you how comfortable I was. I'm sorry if that was rude of me to say, but I just wanted to be honest with you and share my thoughts about what you could be doing. Maybe it's because I'm from the country and I'm used to having a wider space to live in. To be honest, it's been difficult for me to adjust living in this cramped city. I mean, I feel like a dog in a cage some days that I'm here, and I was just shocked the first time that I came over to your house. Oh, that's right. I forgot that you had moved here from Wisconsin. Was your house really that much bigger? I feel like I could probably fit at least seven of your apartments in the old house that I grew up in back out there. But to see the house that Ben would have grown up in with you? Well, it just kind of really bummed me out. That's why you have to get back together with George. Then there wouldn't be any need for you to live in this tiny apartment anymore. It's not like there aren't big places in the city. You just need more money to get there. Well, while I appreciate your suggestion, Trish, I really just have no intention at all of getting back together with George. It was one of the happiest days of my life when he and I were divorced. Besides, he cheated on me and left me to be with another woman. Why in the world would I want to get with someone who treated me so poorly in the past? Oh my gosh, Gina, I really can't believe how much you are missing the forest for the trees here. I mean, if you're not going to do this for yourself, then can you think of Ben and I at least? Think of all the ways that we could all use George's money. Are you really going to let your pride get in the way of your son's future prosperity? And just what is that supposed to mean? 
I mean that if you get back together with George, then Ben might have a chance of taking over Grape Co. when George steps down. And if he does that, then that means that I'll be the wife of a CEO and never ever have to work another day in my life. So please don't let your pride ruin the chances for me to have the dream life that I've always wanted to have. You really want to live in some fancy condo that badly, Trish? Well, it's not just that. I mean, think of what will happen at our wedding. So many rich people would be invited because of George and we'd make out like bandits with cash gifts. Trish, I really don't think that you're thinking about this realistically. I mean, do you not think you're taking this fantasy just a little too far? Fantasy? The only one living in a fantasy is you if you really think that it's okay to live the way that you're living. This is your chance to escape from it all. I mean, how can you be blind to the sad life that you're living right now? I just can't understand why you think this is okay. Trish, I'm not saying that I don't see the points you're making. Yes, my apartment is rather small, and yes, I don't make all that much money. But the point is that it's my life, and I'm very comfortable where I am. So please stop trying to pressure me to change that. Mom, are you there? It's just horrible. I can't believe it. Why didn't you ever tell me that my real dad was the CEO of a huge company? I take it that Trish had something to do with this, didn't she? Well, of course she did. She was the one who told me the whole truth about who my dad really is. I can't believe that I'm actually the son of Grape Co.'s own George Grape. And how could you hide this from me, Mom? What's the matter with you? I have a right to know this. Ben, you've known who your father is this whole time, and I've told you that you don't want anything to do with that man. I know that he looks impressive on social media and all of that, but you don't know George like I do. I mean, when he left us behind, did you know that he even found a way to get out of paying child support? I seriously can't believe that you're making excuses for yourself like this, Mom. What are you talking about? My dad gave me child support money all of the time. Or at least he tried to. But you were the one who always told him to take his money and never come back. But I know for a fact that my real dad never once forgot about me or chose to abandon me. And you have no idea how much pain it's caused me not being able to see him. Don't tell me that you actually found a way to reconnect with him. I have, actually. In fact, Dad and I were just together earlier today, if you must know. It had been 20 years since you two divorced. I hadn't seen him since I was in elementary school. I can't even remember the last time I cried like that, but I did when I saw him today. Ben, what is the matter with you? Why would you go and meet someone like that? He left us and never gave us a cent of child support, and he never once reached out to contact you. You're not reading my messages, Mom. He did offer me money and has asked to meet me countless times. But that I never took him up on his offer was secretly crushing me this whole time. That's why I was so happy to finally get to meet him. He even gave me $20,000 as back pay. What? Did he really give you that much money? That's right. What else could you expect from someone as impressive as him? I mean... For him, 20000 was probably like a penny or something. But I never, ever had that much money in my life before. I didn't even know what to say to him. Well, you should tell him to take his money back. I am serious. You don't want anything to do with that man. And you probably don't even want to know what he had to do for that money. I know that he seems great right now, but I am telling you that he is nothing but trouble. You really think that I'm going to give the money back? It's my money. He said it was all the child support he would have paid me. And now you're trying to tell me that I'm not entitled to that. You're just jealous, aren't you? You're mad because I got the money and you didn't. Ben, you can't be serious about this. You don't actually think that's why I'm upset about this, do you? I am your mother, and I am only saying this to you for your own good. How is any of this for my own good? You're just saying whatever you can and make yourself seem good so you can try and brainwash me. You don't actually think that's what I'm doing, right, Ben? Of course it is. Ever since I was little, you've only ever talked bad about my dad. 
You called him a cheater and a cheapskate, and that's all I ever knew about him. But now that I finally met him and listened to his side of the story, I know that the divorce was actually all your fault. Dad never did anything wrong. Oh, come on. You really are just going to believe that it's all my fault your father and I got divorced? Of course. He told me all about how you never ever supported him, and how that pushed him to cheat on you. And you're really buying that story? Dad told me it was always his dream to own his own company, but that you were always shooting his ideas down and telling him to give up on his dreams and get a real job. You made Dad feel cornered and alone, so it's only natural that he'd resort to cheating on you the way that he did. And yet you still have the gall to play victim. That's why Dad finally realized that it was hopeless trying to fix things with you, and ran off. I can't believe that you're really buying all of this. I thought you were smarter than this, Ben. All you had to do was be a good wife and help Dad chase his goals. But instead you chose to run him off, and that's why you have the life you have now. This is what you get for not being there for Dad when you should have been. Is this all what George told you? Ben, you cannot believe a single word that man says to you. I gave birth to you. I raised you on my own for 20 years. And you really think that I've been doing it all to hide the truth about your father from you? You really want to try and play the mom card now. You're nothing but a poor old lady. It's all your fault that I grew up in a broken home with no father. You should have been there for him, but instead you got mad over an affair you forced him into. I could have been next in the line to take over his company. And just what is wrong with the life I gave you growing up? I never remember you complaining about anything when you were a child. I was always there for you, always did my best to provide for you, and never ever had to send you to bed without making sure you'd eaten that day. I may only work part-time, but over my time working, I strived for any chance at career advancements and raises that I could get. I was even earning as much as a regular employee at my company for a while. Oh, just shut up already. I'm sick and tired of you trying to spin the truth for me. I don't care how hard you say you worked. You still lied to me, and you stole my chance at a good life. I could have been driving fast cars, traveling the world, making tons of money, and instead we had to live together in your tiny little apartment. I did all that I could for you. Why are you acting this way? You read this message well, Mom. You are nothing but a poor old lady pretending to be someone she's not. I wish I had grown up with Dad instead of you. I'm never, ever going to come back to your tiny little apartment ever again. Ben... Please, you are acting absurd. I mean, you're really going to abandon your mother to be with your father who was never there for you? That's right. I'm going to be with him, and he's going to take me in and give me a job, and then I'll be living in a huge condo. I'll be able to give Trish everything she wants, and we'll go and live with Dad in his penthouse. We'll eat out every night and never have to worry about how the poor live ever again. Well, fine then. You're an adult, and you're free to choose how you want to live. If that's what you want, then I won't stop you. But please, never say that you'll never come back home. I'll always be here for you, Ben. No, I don't need to ever go back, and I won't. And I don't need you either. You're no mother of mine, so don't even bother showing up to my wedding. Ben, please, you can't be serious about this, right? Oh, I am. Now have a nice life, Mom. I never want to see you again. Good morning, Gina. I'm sure that you know today is the day that Ben and I are going to get married. Yes, I am aware of that. Can I ask just why you're messaging me about it? Well, it's just that Ben wanted me to remind you that you aren't welcome at our wedding. I know that he told you already, but he wanted me to as well, so we could really drive it home. Just so you know that we aren't joking, and you better not be there. So you mean that you're really okay with this too? You don't care at all that your mother-in-law is banned from your own wedding? Of course I'm fine with it. I have no issue with that at all. In fact, I never wanted you here in the first place. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is to think about just how poor my mother-in-law is? And so you two are still so convinced about how poor I am, huh? 
and you're still trying to convince yourself that you're not? Just seeing the state of your house, it was too obvious. But I'm not going to hang around and let my marriage be weighed down by a poor old woman like you. All my friends have great relationships with their mothers-in-law. Some of them even give my friends money as an allowance. And they told them they'd never ever need any nursing or help when they're older. But you... <laughs> It's obvious that when you're older, you're going to be demanding money from Ben and I, so it's obviously better to get rid of you now. I see. Well, I guess I wasn't aware that you felt so strongly on the matter. It's really not even a choice when you think about it. A poor old mother-in-law or a rich and successful father-in-law. George is going to be our ticket to the top. He's going to let Ben take over his company, and then we'll be living in the lap of luxury for the rest of our lives. I can't believe that Ben is really choosing to live as George's son rather than my own. Are you really? I'm not. I'd make the same choice if I were him. Well, fine then. I'll skip going to your wedding, but I'm not sure you won't regret it. And just why in the world would we do that, huh? I'm done having this conversation with you. You both are adults, and if this is how you want to live your lives, then fine. You think it's not obvious how upset you are over this? Maybe if you showed up to the wedding crying and begging us to let you in, we might change our minds. Oh, I'm afraid I won't be the one crying by the end of this, but you just might be. You're not making any sense at all. What could possibly make me regret marrying Ben when he's going to be rich? You're just a jealous old woman trying to hold on to what's around her as it slips around your fingers. Have a nice lonely life, you old hag. Oh no, what's going on? I am so upset. You have to do something to save this wedding, Gina. Oh no, what's the matter? Don't tell me that things aren't going the way that you planned. What? How did you know? Who told you? Don't tell me it's already on the TV. Apparently George's company is actually on the verge of bankruptcy. Not only that, but he's being sued for fraud since apparently he tried to scam people. Yeah, I did hear about it on the TV, actually. I heard that George is being accused of swindling people out of $60 million. It was also some kind of big investment scam or something like that, yes? But instead, he took all of the money invested and left nothing to show for it to the investors. That's not all, though. George told Ben that he was going to let him take over the company. But now that Ben is all wrapped up in this, we have a bunch of reporters outside our house. They've been there since this morning. Oh, wow. Well, that's really rough for you, isn't it? But that's not the worst of it. The worst is that George managed to escape from the apartment. We have no idea where he is, and he's not picking up our calls. So now we're being accused as conspirators of George. Wow. Well, it sounds to me like you two played right into his hand then, didn't you? But at least you got that $20,000 that George gave to Ben, right? I just hope it doesn't come out that that money was dirty as well. No, you don't think that George was trying to set us up all along, do you? Please, you have to do something to save us. I thought we had finally made it, and then right after our wedding, the news broke. And you two really weren't suspicious of anything at all? You thought you were being handed all this on a silver platter? You should have warned us about George! You should have told us not to trust him! How many times did I tell you why George and I didn't work out? I told you that he lied to and cheated and stole from Ben and I and then ran away with another woman! I told Ben not to take George's money and not to listen to a single thing that that liar had to tell him! But you two were so happy at the prospect of a little money and were so quick to blame me for all of your troubles. You two wanted it this way, and now you have to live with it. But don't you dare say that I didn't do enough to warn you. So, good luck. Sounds like you both are going to need it. Good luck? Is that really all you have to say to us? You're really not going to do anything to help us at all? Can't you at least come here and pick us up so that we can escape this sea of reporters outside of George's house? I'm sorry, but you both made it very clear that you wanted nothing to do with me ever again. And now you're asking a poor old woman like me to help you out? 
please, you have to realize that the circumstances were different. I didn't realize what we were getting into. Yes, that much is obvious. But since you've made it clear that you don't want me to be a part of your family, I don't see why I should help either of you. I did my best to warn you, did my best to be honest with you about my intentions, and all I got back for it was insulting words and a betrayal by my own son. You tell Ben that he'll always be my boy, but that he is going to have to work his own way out of this. And maybe someday, when he's thought long and hard about what he's done, I'll be ready to speak to him again. Please, you can't just leave us like this. Don't you get that we're in way over our heads? How can you say that you love your son if you're not going to come and help us right now? How can you just leave us like this? Please, Gina, we're supposed to be family. You can't do this. You need to come here and save us. It was a couple days later that I saw in the news that George had finally been caught and arrested for all his crimes. He had run back to his hometown and was hiding in his childhood home when the police found him. Apparently, the person who had given him up was actually the very woman that George cheated on me with. She had also gotten caught up in his schemes and wasn't about to go down alone. George and Trish continued to beg me for help, but as George's trial continued, it came out that the two of them really did have nothing to do with what happened. The two of them, however, came under intense criticism online as it was revealed in the trial that they abandoned me because they thought George was wealthy. And before long, just about everyone knew who Ben and Trish were and what they had done. With no home to go back to and no dream job as a CEO, the two of them decided to pack up what they had and flee town. I haven't heard from Ben since then, but I know that when he's ready, he'll find me. Ethan, how are you? Who's this? It's Alina, your ex. You forgot? Oh, hey, how are you? I'm good, you? What have you been doing lately? Nothing much, just doing work as usual. I'm good also. Can I ask why you're contacting me? What do you want? Hey, don't be so mean. I was sad that I couldn't see you all these years, so do you think we can meet up soon? Um, didn't we date during high school for only a week? We really don't have a memory together. I seriously thought you dated me because you were dare to. Of course not. I don't date people in a dare. I missed you. Even though it was only one week, it was a good memory for me. I'm glad to hear that. Hey, I want to talk to you about something, so can we meet up? Just the two of us? Yes. Why do we need to talk one-on-one? -on -one? Because it's something private. Can you not say here? No, I need to tell you in person. Why don't we talk at the high school reunion? It's this weekend, right? Are you going? Yes, but my boyfriend is going to be there, so I can't talk to you. Can't you talk about it while he's there also? Is it something awkward? Well, kind of. Then I don't want to talk. Respect your partner. I also have a girlfriend, and I will be respectful towards her and will not talk to you, okay? Relax. Then can we talk as a friend, then? With him involved? Yes, I will. I promise you that. Okay. I can't wait to see you there, Ethan. You're creeping me out, but yeah, see you there. Yo, are you trying to steal my girl? Who's this? It's Ash. Do you remember me from high school? Oh my god, hi. How are you? How do you know my ID? Alina told me. Alina? Wait, you guys are dating? Yeah, you got some damn nerve to try to steal her away from me. Hold up, I didn't know you guys were dating. Since when? Shut up! That doesn't matter. What were you going to do to her? Nothing. All I did was reply to her text. Do you want me to get pissed at you? Were you trying to steal her away from me? I will never do that. I have a girlfriend. Stop lying. 
She's hot, so I bet you were. Plus, there are guys who cheat on their girlfriends nowadays, and you are one of them. Should I tell your girlfriend about this? It should be easy to find her on social media. How do I know how she looks like now? I haven't seen her since high school. Stop making that assumption, because I'm not doing anything. Leave me alone. Then why did Alina contact you? You're her ex. I bet you guys are hiding something. I'm your boyfriend, so I have the right to check if you guys are dating. What? Dating? Are you kidding me? We dated 15 years ago for only a week and haven't seen her since high school. I also don't know why she contacted me. I could show screenshots of the conversations we had. No thanks, I think it's fake. So... Hey! If you guys are cheating, I will make you pay for alimony. Do you know what it is? Yes, it's something that a person needs to pay for when they cheat. Yeah, when they get divorced though. Doesn't matter. We're getting married, so it's the same thing. No, it's not. Why don't you Google it? Are you making fun of me? Maybe so. There are people who don't know about this, so you're making fun of other people too. No, I'm just making fun of you because it seems like you don't understand anything at all. You're pissing me off. I will not forgive you, so I'll make you pay for it. I literally didn't do anything. All I did was reply to Alina because she sent me a chat first because I felt bad for ignoring her. If you don't want me to bother you guys, I won't because I don't want to get involved in some kind of trouble. You know what? You woke up the demon inside me and I will never forgive you. I came into conclusion that you are trying to pick a fight with me, talking about how you don't know everything even though you do. What the hell is that conclusion? I didn't do anything wrong, so don't involve me in something, alright? Bye, I have a nice life. Alina, you and Ash are dating? Yeah, about to get engaged soon. You didn't know? Of course not. Since when? Last year. You didn't know? We wrote on our social media. Oh really? I'm busy. So I really don't check people's social media because it's a waste of time. You're very rare in this day and age. You're missing out on a lot of fun and interesting things. Maybe you should give it a try. No thanks. I prefer to focus on the people and the things that matter most to me. Just know that I'm not denying people using social media. It's just my opinion. Anyways, congrats for the engagement. Can I ask you something? Does Ash have a problem with me or something? I know, people have different opinions. Thanks. I don't think so. Why do you ask? He sent me something like how I stole you away from him and I need to pay for alimony because of that. Can you explain to him what it is because he doesn't seem to understand? Or maybe you can help him search it on Google. Oh, he said that? It's probably jealousy, but I'll talk to him for you. Thank you. Oh, and can you talk to him if he has anything in mind to take revenge on me? Revenge? Yeah, he said that I'm trying to pick a fight with him so he will do something. Can you tell me if he tells you about it? I hope it's not gonna be at the re I hope it's not gonna be at the reunion though. If it's gonna happen there, I'm not going. Sure, and don't worry. I'll not let him do anything, so come to the reunion, please. Are you sure? Because this is something serious. I'll promise you that, so please come, okay? Is it just me, or are you desperate? It's just you. I just want to meet you and talk to you. That's it. Okay, then. Please talk to him for me, okay? WTF, Ash. What is wrong with you? You deserve that, dude. Why did you leave? I'm not done with you yet. You are insane. Pouring beer on me and punching me in the face? I was excited for the reunion, but it's ruined now because of you. It's your fault for trying to hit on my girl. If you're pissed, why don't you do something? Hit on your girl? We were just talking! Can't friends talk to each other? I won't do anything because I'm way more mature than you. You were touching her, so I'm going to make you pay for the alimony. No, I wasn't. She was the one touching my hand, actually. Alimony? Did you not do some research about that? I did! I can make you pay for it if you're engaged. Oh, so you guys are engaged now. Yeah, we did yesterday, so you can pay us. Are you an idiot? It's only if you're married and got divorced. What website did you check? Actually, you are the one that needs to pay me. 
For what? The hospital fee, because I'm hurt pretty bad. Stop being a baby. It's not that bad. I will not pay for that, but make you pay whatsoever. I literally have cuts on my face. Actually, near my eyes, it might have a broken nose. I will not pay for it. Do you have any proof that I was trying to hit on Alina? OMG, do you want me to punch you in the face again? Wow. And the same scumbag is trying to provoke me. <laughs> Are you not going to apologize? It's your last chance. Are you threatening me? I will not apologize. What I'm going to do is punch your face again until you pay for the alimony. If you don't want anything to happen to you, then pay for it or do something about it. Alright, that's it. You're the one that has been threatening me this whole time, so I will do something about it. You should be prepared for what is to come. Okay, I will be waiting for that. You should stop lying because you probably won't do anything because you are weak. You can't even fight back. I will fight back, but without violence. Yeah, yeah. Well, people who try to steal my girl deserve this. Are you really going to do something? Because I want to see. I just filed a police report. What? You told me to do something, so I did. Violence is a crime, so that's why I didn't do anything. I'm different than you. Wait, what is that? What does that mean? It means to report a crime to the police. I was a victim of an assault, so I filed a report. I'm so glad I didn't punch you back even though I wanted to. Why didn't you do it then? I wanted to take revenge the best way possible. There is no way I could forgive you that easy. I think the police will come and arrest you too soon, maybe? Wait, two? Yeah, Alina also assaulted me too, so... What? Alina didn't do anything. Yes, she poured beer on me and tried to hit me with that jug afterwards. That's an assault. No, it's not. Her hand just slipped. Yeah, magically on my head. That's hard to believe. Why would the police arrest me, though? All I did was punch you in the face who tried to steal my girl. I didn't do anything wrong. I did not try to steal your girl. What you two did was an assault, okay? Did I say something confusing? If you still want to argue, I can show you a video of what you guys did. Some classmates took a video of the incident and sent it to me, which I plan to show to the police later on. You better not leave there, because if you do, you will face even more consequences. I will not get arrested whatsoever. It's so funny how you still act like a badass. This is not high school. I wonder what will happen if your company finds out. What? My company might find out about this? Yes, I'm going to send the video to the company because you're getting arrested. Please don't! Why? The company should know what kind of person they hired. I might get fired! So? It doesn't matter to me. It's your own fault. Wait, hold up. The police might not listen to you because there was alcohol involved. I was only drinking water. Alina was making me drink beer, but I declined, which was a good decision. Also, my job has connection with the police. What's your job? I'm a lawyer. What? Lawyer? Check my social media and search my name on Google. You should find me. Damn! It's true! I should have checked it beforehand. Oh, it looks like you researched on the right website this time. <laughs> Why don't you research about alimony on that website also? <laughs> yeah, so don't think about arguing with me. Um, can you rethink this? Isn't this a fight between friends? We just had an argument. Absolutely not. It was an assault and I got hurt pretty bad. You forced me to get involved into this and you messed with the wrong person. Understood? I won't forgive you for this. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't expect for this to happen. I wonder if you would apologize if I wasn't a lawyer. Anyways, you have been doing something with Alina, right? Some kind of plan? What plan? What are you talking about? Don't act like you don't know. You made Alina talk to guys so that you would come in and pay for alimony, or else you would punch that person in the face, right? Looks like you guys are used to it, so I kind of knew what's up because I've seen people like that before. That's why I was keeping an eye on you two the whole time. No, we've never done that. I'll tell the police about this and have them investigate it. What? Investigate? They don't need to. This is too much. Look, I will apologize that I punched you, but it's not my fault. It's just that I thought you were trying to steal my girl. A misunderstanding, right? I'm so sorry. I apologize. So it's fine, right? No, it's not. I want nothing to do with you, so bye. If you want to say something, talk to the police. 
What are you talking about? Please help me. We're friends, right? We just had an argument and things got heated up, and I accidentally punched you. You don't need to exaggerate the story. I won't listen to whatever you say. All I'm going to do is explain everything that you did, and what happened to me showing the video. I did exactly what you wanted me to do. What? What did I do? Isn't Alina the bad guy here also? I thought she was cheating on me. You two are the bad guys here. You tricked people to pay money even though they didn't need to. I'm glad that you did that to me, or else there will be other victims. You guys are done. Go to hell, you scumbags. Why are you saying that? We are just a normal, engaged couple. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the police will believe that. Well, say whatever you want, but I don't care anymore. Look, I will apologize. I am so sorry for pouring beer on you and punching you. Is that all? I'm pretty sure there are other things. Okay, I will admit that I let Elena talk to you and other guys in the past. See, I knew it. Aren't you embarrassed? No, I'm not. This is for us, actually. What? We thought we could hold a big wedding if we get the money. Do you think it's okay to hold a wedding with money like that? No, but I wanted to make my parents happy. Happy? There should be other ways to make your parents happy. Why don't you just be honest and talk to your parents about this? It's too late now, though. Please don't say anything to them, okay? If you do, my parents will find out. Don't say anything. Your parents are the first ones that will find out about this. That's not my problem, though. Please don't say that. Oh my god, what should I do? I don't know. You have a brain, so why don't you think about it? I can't. I'm panicking now. Why don't you ask Alina? She's panicking now also! Well, good luck with everything. The police should arrive any minute now, so I guess I should go back there. You mess with the wrong person. Bye, scumbags. The police came, and they both got arrested for assault and additional charges, but the both of them are currently under investigation. His company and parents found out about this, and he got fired, and his parents cut ties with him. He was shocked because he thought that his parents would do something about it. Alina acted like she didn't know him and betrayed him. Looks like she hates his guts now. <laughs> I don't know why they did something like that, but it's something that can't be forgiven. I got involved in this chaos, but I'm relieved that I was able to defeat evil.